bear with us. There we go. I'll just move my chat out of the way. Nicola, let me answer your question before I forget, because I just want to come back on this chart and just show you the weekly for a moment. But let me go and do that first. Um, it's very straightforward. Let's go to the Renko's. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, if you want to change this one, this one's running at um, 24, which is 2.4 pips. But if you want to change it uh, and just double check you're on the right time frame, we're on the one minute here below, so I've just got the equivalent. So we just select the one minute, let it settle. Okay, and then we just click here to open a new Renko chart. It's as simple as that. There we go. Now we're running at two and a half pips. And if you're running multiple Renkos and you're running at this speed, you will need to, to check them. Um, I was going to say every few minutes, but certainly on a fast chart like a one minute or a sub one minute, you will need to check them sort of every between, let's say, five minutes, three, four, five minutes, something like that, just to make sure you're still running at the optimal speed. If you're running at maybe a three or four minute uh, Renko, then you only need to check that maybe every sort of 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes, etc. It's a rule of thumb. You get used to it pretty quickly and you're just double checking all the time to make sure that, um, yeah, I will. And just to make sure that everything's uh, uh, running as it should be. And you're running on the optimal setting and that's what it's all about. These are the optimal settings for those particular equivalent time frames below, the one minute, 30 second and the 15 second. You can go out slower, you can go two, three, four minute. That will obviously, and it will always give you a, a larger brick size. So the slower the time, the larger will be the brick size. But you've also got within the Renko, you've got the option to select whatever brick size you want. So if you, you have a preference for trading uh, one and a half pips or two pips or three pips, you can do it. But I always have it set to the optimal. That's why we call it the Renko Optimizer, because it gives you the optimal setting for your Renko bricks in all markets. Just go back onto the charts. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Um, all right, there we go. Back onto the charts. I just wanted to show you the uh, the weekly chart because I mentioned it earlier on. You know, it's a longer term trade, and really this does make the point that the absolute massive. You know, we had this massive volatility in the markets. Not only was that reflected, of course, in equities, huge volatile swings intraday, but you also saw it in in every other market. The, the, and it goes to the heart of relational analysis. Relational analysis, just, you know, no market trades in an isolation. You're not going to see a currency pair that is quite happily wafting through this it, it, massive volatility uh, and not really going anywhere. So we've seen it everywhere. And, you know, it just stood out so clear. It was impossible to avoid. We had the volatility this week. I don't know why this has gone to red. It's very odd. Um, then we had this absolute monster amount of volume came in on the weekly, followed by this uh, further buying in here. We've got more mopping up. And, you know, it's really only going one way from there. It's not, not a question of where it's going. It's a question of how long it's going to take. And if you look at the weekly chart, where are, as I say, where are the, um, where are the, the boundaries of this trade? You know, we're looking at maybe a thousand pips on this particular position from somewhere down here at 58 through to 68 or 59 to 69. We've got a low volume area here, which is great. So we should move through there pretty quickly on the volume point of control. And remember also, a slower time frame will always trump a faster time frame. So in this context of this position, holding this position for weeks, the weekly chart is going to dominate the daily chart. So if I've got weak, strong weekly resistance or something that is going to cause a very strong barrier on the weekly chart, it's going to cause more of a problem to me than, the, than whatever is in the daily chart. And that is, again, is a universal truth. Whether you're trading a one minute, five minute, 15 minute combination, the 15 minute time frame, whatever is on that chart will dominate and will have a much greater impact, more significance than what is on the 10 minute or the five minute or the one minute. So you've always got to look upstream. If you've got stuff in the way on a, on a slower time frame chart, it's going to carry more weight. So looking at the weekly chart, I think 67 was pretty much on the daily chart where, where we had some uh, decent resistance coming into play. We've got exactly the same here. We've got two levels here and we've also got this ton of volume over here. So in terms of getting out, I may or may not get out there, but certainly expect a, an extended congestion phase if we get that far probably either close most of the position or part of the position at any rate. If it if it's able to break through there, 
then we've got further volume up here and then we get to the volume point of control so from there on in it's going to be a bit of a struggle so clear water pretty much for the next sort of two or three hundred pips which is fine then we start to run into this uh, fairly serious area so we're expecting uh, you know decent congestion to build at that point let's just change that back onto the daily there we go and we're still ticking up uh, nicely a little bit of uh, let's have a look at that one there we are that's on the this is on the 10 minute uh, we've got some some selling coming in now we've got a nice wick to the upper body narrow spread candle lots of volume driven in there so that's looking a little bit weedy now so we're expecting a bit of a reversal off that and that's probably reflected in terms of the csis we go over the multiple csis see what's going on there there we go <clears throat> get that out of the way there we are starting to see a bit of buying of the swiss franc a little bit of buying of the swiss franc bit of a curl bit of a buying not much of a flicker at the moment on 15 but if that's going to develop stronger, then obviously you expect to see it. But the Aussie is still climbing up here on three, on five, on 10, and on 15. Any more questions? Okay, thanks, darling. I think Anna's answered those. So there we are. Back. Sorry, did you want to say something? No, only, I should say, the, the, the rate going, even with that volatility and the rate is actually still holding you in, but it's still in. Let me pass you back. What I wanted to just to show you very quickly in terms of sentiment, because we haven't looked at that yet this morning. This is what's good. This is on Trading View. Um, we have we've developed the indicators for Trading View, not all of them, because that's uh, it. It's not has not quite give us the flexibility we need. Sorry. Yeah, it hasn't quite got the flexibility. But this is on the uh, the VIX, which I've got on the one minute, the three minute, the 10 minute, 15, 20, and the daily. You can see here it's uh, it's ticking down. Uh, if we look at the uh, UK FX, this is FTSE 100. This is uh, ticking up. So there's there's a positive sentiment mood in the market reflected in terms of the VIX, which is falling down 1.2%, and the uh, the UK index, which is clicking up. So in terms of risk sentiment which is what it's all about in terms of levels and flows then at the moment the markets are risk on although not strongly so and that's another reason that you're seeing the moves in the aussie i've just gone to the us markets very quickly to see what's going on this is on globex this is the ym the nq and the es on five minute excuse me a moment hold on Apologies, sorry, just a phone ring. Um, this is on Globex. This is uh, across the three US indices. We've got the YM, the NQ, and the ES. These are the e-mini futures, which trade 24-7 on Globex. So you've always got a view on um, sentiment. This is on the daily. Just want to show you this one very quickly. Key levels now building on uh, this particular chart. We're trading at the volume point of control. We've got resistance above. We've got support below. And for this to break free, this is assuming it's going to the upside it's got to break through this levels so we've got to see some decent volume coming in yesterday was a little bit weedy narrow spread same volume as the day before so there's weakness here but if it's going to drive through there it's got to drive through with some decent volume and break through this region here and then we're off up to nine two and beyond in terms of the volume point of control so the principle is exactly the same but that's what's going on in terms of globex market is trying to rally it looks a bit weak effort to rally here that doesn't look terribly strong got another one over here on the es Big wick to the upper body, lots of volume driven in there, so it's hardly looking uh, uh, a great uh, a great example for uh, taking a long position on that one right now. Okay, there we go. Let's just right quickly go back to the charts, just see what's going on. There we are, and we've got a little bit of congestion building, a little bit of weakness coming in now. Do I care in terms of my daily weekly positions? No, it's just part and parcel. There we are. We're going to wrap up and run. Just very quickly to run you through uh, the various sites. This is Anna's site, if you're uh, not aware of it. All the books there are up on Amazon, so you can find all the details. In terms of the uh, indicators, you can find them all at quantumtrading.com. Uh, they're available for MT4, MT5, Ninja Trader 7, 8, and TradingView, and TradeStation. We are working on TradeStation. We've got two platforms coming. 
uh, this version 9.5, which is TradeStation Global, which is a partnership between TradeStation and Interactive Brokers. If you have an Interactive Brokers account, you can link it straight through to TradeStation and you have all the benefits of a fantastic charting package with uh, just a mind-blowing uh, brokerage account where you get all the markets global, everything you can possibly think of from, from options, futures, indices, what you name it, spot forex, it's their currency futures, the lot, and all at very, very tight spreads as well. So it's a fantastic platform. Uh, that combination, that's trace, that runs on TradeStation 9.5. And then we have uh, TradeStation Securities, which is running on TradeStation version 10 plus. Uh, and again, all the indicators will be available for that too. So that is the traditional uh, TradeStation relationship that uh, you may or may not be familiar with. So we're working flat out on those, hope to have them up and running pretty soon. Thereafter, we will be working on multi-charts because multi-charts works on the same coding language of easy language. So we will develop the uh, all the indicators for multi-charts as well. Got a couple of new indicators in the pipeline we're working on, and those will be ported back onto other platforms, provided we have the capability to do it. Certainly in terms of Ninja Trader, that'll be an option. So if you have um, any, or if you're a full package customer and we're developing indicators, you get those free of charge. It's just our way of saying thank you. We don't never charge you again for that. If you're on the full package, you get whatever we develop, the future platforms, if we can put them onto that platform, we will, and you'll get them free of charge. I don't know of any other company that does that, to be honest. In fact, I don't think there is anyone. Finally, to the Forex Trading Program, this is the complete Forex Trading Education Program, which you can find at quantumtradingeducation.com. It's what we like to consider as the gold standard. Uh, we are very proud of it. We've never had a refund yet, and it's just uh, a comprehensive it covers everything, not only about Forex, but also about how to trade, all the mechanics of trading. There's over 200 hours of video in here. It's a massive program. And of course, it includes the full suite of trading tools and indicators. So if you're on the program, you'll automatically get all future indicators free of charge. That's it. We're done. Thank you so much for coming along today. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the session. We will be back on Thursday evening for the US session, and we will be adding more webinars uh, soon. So uh, thank you very much indeed for your time. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something that uh, you may have not known before, and we will see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of the day. Stay safe, stay well, and uh, we will see you soon, and bye for now.